Hello, my name is Maria Miller from MathMammoth.com. In this video, we are going we're going to look at area versus perimeter, because those are two concepts that students often confuse. Just remember, area has to do with covering, and uh, perimeter has to do with going around the figure, like you, you like make a loop, you go around it, jog around it, something. So perimeter has to do with a distance you run around something. An area is, is area, okay? Here's my example figure. It's a rectangle, if we're studying rectangles. Its perimeter, like I said, imagine going around the figure and how long a distance do you run? This is two units here. One, two. Here I marked it as five, and then two and five. So you, in total you go seven and seven or fourteen. The perimeter of that rectangle is fourteen units. Now the area was calculated in squares. How many squares are inside the figure? I could draw these lines to make a grid here. Then you could count your squares. Or you can use multiplication. 2 times 5 is 10. Area is 10 square units or 10 squares. Here I wrote two problems that are similar yet very different but they can help students to notice the differences between these two concepts. Here is draw a square with a given perimeter. Perimeter is 8 meters and asking for area. Here the area is given and it's asking for perimeter. Now let's solve this one. It says a square has a perimeter of 8 and of course it helps me to sketch now my figure here. It's a square and perimeter, so I go all the way around and this will be 8 meters. Therefore, there's four sides. Each side has to be 2 meters long, right? So that I get 8 meters in total when I go around. And now the area is solved by multiplication. If here's 2 meters, 2, 1, 2, and 1, 2, the area will be 4 square meters. We need to put the unit here since we had the unit here too. And then here, again I will sketch my square. And here it is asking us to draw a square with an area of 16 square meters. Now the area is known. How many little squares are inside it is known. There's 16 little squares here. And it's asking how long is it all the way around. Now, we need to think of a number that this number times this number. This times this will give us 16. And it's the same number. It's not 2 times 8. And uh, it's easy to see if you know your multiplication tables that 4 will work. 4 times 4 is 16. Again, you could draw the grid to see that there indeed are now 16 squares inside, 16 square meters. And now the perimeter is 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4. Well, how interesting, the perimeter is also 16, but meters, not square meters. Now, these types, pro these types of problems, some things are given and some things are asked. It is given us, given us in this rectangle that its area is 24. It means 24 square units, or 24 squares. And one side here is 6, and we asked the perimeter. This could be a word problem, where it just says that the area of a rectangle is 24 square inches, and one side is 6 inches, and what is its perimeter? It, it could all be in words, but I just made a sketch, and it is kind of like a problem in itself. So, the perimeter is the go around, and to solve that we would need to know how long is this side here. And of course we will use the area to find this unknown side. The unknown side times 6 is 24. This times this, this is 24. So the side must be 4 units, and then we can take the perimeter. 4 and 6 is 10, and then another 10 here. So perimeter is 20 units. In this problem, 
the perimeter is given as 38 units and his size 5 here and 5 here these are not given and it's asking for the total area now being a rectangle here is also a 5 right this here is 5 this here is 5 these sides are 5 so the only unknown here unknown side is actually this one and uh, we know the perimeter, so we know how much is the total distance all the way around. And that's what we can use now. Here's 5, 5, unknown 5, unknown 5. Okay? Let me first add the known size. That's 5, 5, 5, 5. That's 20, right? So 20, and then these two makes 38. 20 plus something makes 38. So the something is 18. So these two unknown sides together are 18, which means this is 9. 9 and 9. Okay, and now we can find the area by multiplication. We need this times this whole side. 5 times 14, which is 70. 70 squares or 70 square units. The last problem I wrote here um, is kind of an open-ended problem. It is very good for students when they are dealing with these two concepts. If the area of a rectangle is 18 square centimeters, what can its perimeter be? Now, there's many answers to this problem uh, because we can make many different rectangles with that area. And uh, let's see, uh, I'll sketch one if the, uh, if the area is 18, then this side times this side is 18. So I need to find two numbers multiplied. Give me 18, for example, 3 and 6, okay? And uh, then I could make another one. Hey, let's make it 2 and 9, right? And then I could make one where there's 1 and 18. Different numbers multiplied give me 18. And... Uh, the perimeter, let me make a table here, that if the sides are certain ones, then what's the perimeter? The sides could be 3 and 6, for example. And perimeter is then 3 plus 6 is 9, and double that, 18. Or the sides might be 2 and 9. 2 and 9 is 11, double that, 22. Other sides could be 1 and 18. Together they make 19, double that is 38. Okay. You can see that the perimeter gets longer and longer as our rectangles would get slimmer and slimmer if this was the, you know, 18 and 1. This same problem can be asked just vice versa, where you are given the perimeter. Like, if the perimeter of a rectangle is 18, what can its area be? In a similar way, it is a very good exercise for students to think about how it can vary, how the perimeter can vary, but the area is the same, and there's many different possibilities. It even leads up to algebraic thinking about functions. And uh, yet these problems are good for fourth and fifth graders.